Hi, Mama. You're beautiful. Well, hey there, creative mamas and homemakers. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of the Energize Mama podcast. I'm your host, Cheyenne Clayman, and today we're about to embark on a decorating adventure that's both one thrifty and oh, two oh so creative. Something that would even make, I'd like to proclaim Joanna Gaines proud. So I want you to picture this. You're a stay-at-home mom, a household magician who can turn a toddler's tantrum into giggles and a simple meal into a feast. Did you picture that? Okay, but what about your home's decor? How's it looking? You've got the vision, you've got the style, but let's face it, sometimes the budget just doesn't quite match up to it, right? But I have good news for you, dear friends. You do not need a designer's budget to make your home feel cozy, stylish, and uniquely yours. So if you're a stay-at-home mom like me, eager to sprinkle some DIY magic into your home decor, you are in for a treat today. Now, what's amazing about this episode is this directly came in from a mom who listens to this podcast. This was an idea that she had. We had gotten into this conversation as I got to connect with her personally. And, you know, I kind of asked her like, what is something that you miss that your life used to have that now that you're a mom, you know, and I'm expecting to her, her to say like, Oh, you know, I miss like sexy time with my husband. I miss being able to give myself, you know, more bubble baths. I miss being able to work out when I want, right? A lot of those things that are truly struggles that are real, right, moms? But no, she said, you know what? I love DIY projects. I love to host. I love people to come into my home. And recently, my home has just not been looking good. It has not been host worthy. And some of her issue was that, of course, we know time, right? When you've got littles, DIY projects are a struggle, You don't exactly have the time and some of them can be quite dangerous, right? Like leaving around little, you know, nails and glue and hammers and all that. But besides all of that, one of the biggest struggles that a lot of young moms face is budget, right? So even if you've got the time, you've got the creative juices, sometimes it can be really challenging to know how can I afford this? How can I have my vision and then translate that into something practical. Well, that is where I am going today because I have actually dove into this myself as this is a desire of my heart. And now I'm going to dive deep into the world of DIY projects that'll not only bring a smile to your face, mamas, but I promise it's gonna keep those hard-earned bucks in your pocket where they belong. So I've got a lineup of fabulous DIY ideas today. Everything from repurposing old furniture to creating beautiful budget-friendly decor pieces, okay? But we are not going to navigate this DIY journey alone because I gathered some great ideas from some incredibly creative friends of mine who have mastered the art of decorating on a dime. So I have to already say transparently, All this information you're getting today is not from moi, it's from a collective group of moms. And I actually got a lot of these ideas from my private Facebook group that I host that is totally free. You're welcome to come join. The link is in the show notes below, or you can just type in into your URL, momnationcommunity.com, and you can go in, join our community, and get tips like this all the time. So anyways, without further ado, grab your paintbrushes, dust off that glue gun, mama, and let's get ready to transform your home into a haven of style and comfort. Stick with us for this budget-savvy decorating adventure on this episode of the Energize Mama podcast. Let's do it. Hey mama, welcome to the Energize Mama podcast. Do you want a better work-life balance and more time and energy? Do you find yourself thinking, how can I add more hours into the day? Or are you Googling how to deal with mom guilt and can my marriage survive toddlers? Do you wake up with big goals only to feel overwhelmed and defeated when you have no one to help you and your littles aren't listening to you again? Hey, I'm Cheyenne. I too was an exhausted mom away from the help of my family. I too felt constantly drained with a strong-willed toddler and wished I could find balance between being a wife, a mom, stepmom, and entrepreneur. I wanted more energy to give myself and my husband, to discipline my kids confidently, and incorporate faith into our home. All the things, right? But I kept telling myself that I couldn't do it feeling this exhausted and without a community supporting around me. 
until I found a healthy balance of endless energy in raising Jesus loving littles. In this podcast, you will find that too. You will find time and energy boosting tips and tricks, guidance for disciplining your littles, and what to do when you have no help so that you will find balance between all your roles. Stop feeling drained and learn to trust your own mom tuition. Time to grab those headphones, pour that green smoothie, and get ready to get your daily energy boost. I've got you, mama. Okay, mama, so 10. 10 is our magic number today. That is how many ideas I have for you. Like I said, some of them maybe came from Pinterest, but totally transparent. Most of them came from the moms in my private Facebook group. So these are tried and tested. And if you want more details, again, come join us in that private Facebook group because then these moms can show pictures of their projects, their ideas. But today I wanted to at least inspire you, maybe get those creative juices uh, flowing and give you 10 ideas of, again, how you can truly transform your home into a budget friendly place that you are proud of, that you love things that are not just covered in toys, but in your own style. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pull out a pen and paper. If you're old school, or if you're like me, bust open those notes open on your iPhone and get ready to take notes. So DIY project number one is customized storage bins. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a good storage bin? Who as a mom of littles doesn't need a good storage bin, right? But I want to emphasize on customized because you can transform plain storage bins into actually really cute and stylish organizers. One way you can do this is to either grab yourself from some fabric, adhesive labels, or say maybe some like chalkboard paint to add a personal touch to the bins. Whether you want to exclusively have it designed for you, maybe create a new sexy underwear drawer for yourself, or if you're just being practical like me for creating it for toys, crafts, or pantry items. This way you can make them cute and clever and you can totally pick up most of these supplies at any of your local dollar store. Or if you're a big Amazon friend or yeah, like lover like me, you can also do that too. This not only keeps things tidy, right? With these storage bins, which is a huge bonus, but it also adds a decorative element to your home. Now, number two, we're going to fly through these mamas because I know you ain't got time to be sitting here listening to podcasts all day, or maybe you do. So that just means keep binging through the Energize Mama podcast when you're done with this one, right? But we're moving on to DIY project number two. Number two is a homemade wall calendar. Cue the awes already, right? Ah, we know that you are taking a billion photos of your children every day. So why not put them somewhere where everyone can enjoy it, right? So you can create a family wall calendar just by using a large piece of cork board or a chalkboard painted wall. Again, a lot of local dollar stores have this, Amazon, or you can even find them in Home Depot or Lowe's. You want to label each day with important family events, appointments, or meal plans, right? All those things things that you've heard on my other episodes that actually help you design the motherhood that you want because you've got one shot at being the mom you want to be and this is how you do it right by getting organized by balancing your life by setting yourself up for success and so a homemade wall calendar is one way that you can do that it's a practical decor piece that actually keeps you and everyone else in your house organized and a right and a very beautiful way to celebrate your family and see how your kids are growing And that leads me to DIY project number three. Another great way that you can use those photos that you're taking of your children is to do personalized photo coasters, right? You know what coasters are, right? They're the things that are supposed to protect your furniture from spills, but sometimes they end up being weapons, at least if you've got boys like I do. (laughs) But ideally, you can make them into a sweet craft project um, by making your own coasters, by printing your family photos on ceramic tiles and sealing them with clear varnish. Now, this, again, is something you can get on Amazon, Home Depot, pretty inexpensive and something you can use long term. These coasters are not only, you know, they're not only aimed to obviously protect your furniture, but they also display cherished memories, win-win, and they also make really great birthday and Christmas presents. Now, number four, are we already to number four? We are on to number four is going to be homemade candles. Who doesn't love candles, right? Also a great, great gift idea. You can craft your own scented candles using soy wax, essential oils, and recycled glass jars. You probably already have the recycled glass jars from all the peanut butter that your kids are eating. Am I right? 
among many other things. And so not only do these candles provide obviously a cozy atmosphere, which is what you want to have that Zen, bring in that decor, but bring in that Zen into your home, which you so need. But again, like I shared, they're also a very thoughtful DIY gift idea that you can give to other moms in need. Now, number five, ladies, this just this title just makes me excited. Number five DIY is a kitchen command center. What the heck do I mean? So to make sure you don't think I'm talking about something from Star Trek, what you can do is create a kitchen command center on a wall or say inside your cabinet door. So you want to use again, chalkboard paint. You've heard me mention this a few times, but this stuff is gold. Or you can also get dry erase like decals for grocery lists, meal planning, and family reminders, right? So it's basically going to be, as it says, a command center. It's going to be one area that you can communicate to your kids, to your biggest kid, your husband, right? That this is where you are going to keep all of the important family reminders and such. You can add hooks for keys, maybe mail slots, or even bins for organizing paperwork, but keep it all in one spot. This would be really fun to say, take yourself to Walmart and get things from like the home edit, or you can go ahead and even go to the container store um, to find some inexpensive little hooks and bins so you can put them up in your command center. Is infertility causing you emotional distress? How would you feel if I told you that you're not alone and that there is a brighter way out? I know, Mama, because I've been there. You'll learn how to reset your faith, your feelings, and your emotional twists and turns and take inspiration from stories from other women. I want you to grab your copy of I'm Fruitful, an infertility support magazine that will help you rekindle your faith after infertility, forgive yourself, and experience grace after such a challenging experience. Join their IG community at I'm Fruitful of supportive women who have been through the same thing as you, as me, and you'll never feel alone again. Okay, mamas, we've made it halfway through. We are now diving into the final five ideas. Here we go. Number six is fabric memo board. Okay, this was one of my favorites that a mom in my group shared. So she suggested to make a fabric covered memo board using a cork board or foam board as the base. So what you would do is you'd actually stretch fabric, like you can choose your favorite color, right, or designs, and you stretch it over the cork board or the foam board. You secure it in place, maybe with a stapler like on the back, and then you add decorative ribbon or buttons or some kind of stylish touch, right, putting your own style on it, and then you just use pins to pin important notes or photos or reminders. So it's it's basically like your simple cork board, but again, we're aiming to one, give you a creative outlet so that you feel more than just a mom, right? And you feel like you're doing more than just creating you know, dinosaur this and blippy this and bluey that. Like this is something you can design with your own style in mind. Make it cute, make it you. And then yes, you can pin up the little notes about this field trip and, you know, this event coming at church and this and that. But again, bring this element into your home so that you feel like you there, you're there, you live there. This is a piece of you there too. Another really fun DIY project, number seven, is a magnetic spice rack. Time to get spicy. Turn, you can turn empty baby food jars, right? So how many of y'all have kids under two, right? You probably have some empty baby food jars or again, peanut butter jars, jelly jars. There's so many yogurt containers, even if you want to go with the plastic um, or spice containers themselves, you can turn it into a magnetic spice rack. All you have to do is purchase some magnets. You would attach the magnets to the lids and then store spices on the refrigerator or say a metal kitchen backsplash for easy access while cooking, right? So again, you attach the metal back of these little jars and then you can put them right there, boom, on the refrigerator. Or if you've got little hands like I do and that makes you a little nervous, you can always get a metal, like almost a cork board, but obviously not cork, metal board, put it up out of reach of little hands, and then you've got your spices right there. And it's also a great way to make sure you keep your grocery list in check. So you make sure to grab your spices when you're empty. One thing, a tip that I heard from a mom in my group is she said she has this magnetic spice board. And when her spice is empty, she has a little section on the end of her metal board that has like 
uh, spices to get. And, and it's so visual because you see this empty glass jar and it reminds her to add that to her grocery list when she's out. Because, I mean, come on, nobody wants to be making, you know, like pumpkin, you know, pumpkin pie without the cinnamon. You got to have that. You got to have that. All right, ladies, we're down to our final three DIY projects. So number eight is one of my favorites. I've actually done these before is a homemade throw blanket. So the object here is to help you maybe get rid of some of those t-shirts that are lying around or keeps, you know, we all have those cute little baby clothes, or those little toddler clothes that we're not sure if we're going to have other babies, but we're not quite ready to donate them kind of in between. So one thing you can do is by cherishing the memories and allowing your child to have something that reminds them of all these beautiful, cute outfits that they've worn is by making a homemade throw blanket. Now you can also go out of course and buy fleece, right? You can go just get two pieces of fabric, maybe take your child with you. You can go buy um, their favorite color or maybe a character that's on there. And all you got to do is just cut around the corners, right? Like a fringe, go down and cut like one or two inch, um, yeah, around the corners and then you tie them together and then you've made a throw blanket. So you can even get extra, you know, creative. If you want to use fabric paint afterwards, you can add patterns or monograms with your children's initials, but bottom line is to get creative. And this is a great one to include your child in. Now, number nine DIY is also a great way to include your child into one of these DIY projects that make you, again, make this home feel like your home. And what it is, is create a family hand print art. So you can do it in a plethora of ways, but one simple way to do it is just by getting a canvas or a large piece of paper and you want to paint each of your family members hand a different color. That is most important so that you can create a handprint flower or a tree so that every hand stands out. And it's a really, really beautiful sentimental piece that you can of course do many times over and see your children, especially hands or maybe even feet grow over time. A great way to keep it uh, front and center in your home is to actually frame it and then put it as a decorative wall piece. Now, last but not least, I am so excited that we've made it here. This is a great statement piece for when people come to your home in order to welcome them. You can, number 10 DIY project is to personalize a doormat. Maybe something you've never thought of before, or maybe you're saying, yes, girl, I've done that before, but all you gotta do is design your own doormat by using a plain like core mat and stencils. You can paint a welcoming message or have your family name, name on it. It's just a great way to add a personal touch to your entryway. I've known some moms who have also created doormats for their children's doors or for their children's rooms, right? As your children get a little bit older, their rooms become their domain. And it's a great way to allow, again, the children to get involved in these projects, but also feel a sense of ownership and declare to the world like, hey, this is my space. Just as with so many more of these projects, you've gotten to declare that this home is still yours. All right, mamas, thank you for joining me. That is a wrap for today's inspiring episode of the Energized Mamas podcast. I hope that you're now feeling totally empowered to transform your home into a stylish haven without breaking the bank, of course. Now, I just want to truly, truly implore you to remember that decorating on a budget is not just about saving money. It's also very importantly, it's about infusing your home with your own unique personality and creativity. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to every single person who listened today. I value you so much and I think of you so much when I'm actually creating these episodes. So if you love this episode and found the DIY ideas inspiring, please subscribe to the Energize Mama podcast and feel free to share it with your fellow homemakers who are eager to make their spaces truly their own and not just their children's. And go ahead, if you wouldn't mind, go over to Apple Podcasts and leave me a quick review. That way I know what other options, what other episodes you'd like to hear in a future episode on the Energize Mama podcast. Now, I really quickly just want to say I would love to stay connected with you on social. So please come feel free to find me at the Energized Mama on Instagram, where you'll discover more budget-friendly decorating tips and connect with a vibrant community of creative mamas just like yourself. Again, if you want to go more intentionally there and see more of these DIY projects in person, go over to 
the mom community, right? Momnationcommunity.com. Come join us. And before we say goodbye, I just want to remind you that every DIY project is a chance to express your creativity and make your home a reflection of your family's love and personality. So dust your shoulders off, maybe go ahead and get those tools out and get creative. Until our next creative adventure together, keep those paintbrushes ready, your imagination flowing, and your home filled with the warmth and style that only you can create, mama. Thanks for joining me today on the Energized Mama podcast. Stay energized, stay inspired, and keep making your home uniquely yours. Hey, mama, can you believe it's already October? I mean, it's going to be Christmas before we know it. And if you're anything like me, it's been quite a whirlwind of keeping up with the little ones, hasn't it? I have a question for you. Do you ever find yourself wishing there was a way to just stop feeling emotionally drained? You're not alone if motherhood sometimes feels like an emotional roller coaster. Do you also wish that you could just basically have more energy, you know, for your husband, for yourself, for life in general? Well, I promise you, Mama, I've actually been in your shoes, and I know what it's like to crave more, wanting more from life than just being a mom. It is a dream worth pursuing. I know what it's like to feel overwhelmed, that never-ending stress, wondering where to even start to make a change in your life. I know what it's like to lack those healthy habits, the ones that you really want to do and have, but you're kind of totally in the dark, which ones actually make a difference long term. I've also struggled to create a plan, you know, feeling completely lost in creating realistic, sustainable strategies for myself. And, you know, ultimately just doubting myself, doubting your energy, wondering if it's even possible to feel energetic while wrangling a household full of littles. But now, Mama, I want you to imagine this. What if you woke up each day instead of feeling emotionally drained, but feeling refreshed with energy to spare? What if you had time for those cherished date nights with your husband? And what if me time actually became a regular part of your everyday routine? And what if you had a simple, tailor-made plan that brought back your energy and allowed you to be the vibrant Mama that you long to be? All well, at the same time, giving your kids the love and care that they need. Well, I have great news for you. That's exactly why I created the More Energy Method. It's your customized blueprint to reclaim your life from the chaos and inject boundless energy into your daily routine. Here's what I'll teach you to decrease stress and increase energy. I'm going to give you practical strategies to make stress vanish and your energy soar. You'll have a super simple personalized plan that will establish new energy boosting habits without taking time away from your kids or demanding huge commitments because right, who's got time for that? You'll walk away with crystal clear clarity. You'll know exactly what to focus on. A foolproof plan. You know exactly how to do it. And perhaps most important, confidence. You'll have the confidence to make these changes last. So if you're ready to stop feeling overwhelmed the moment you wake up, to feel rejuvenated throughout the day and go to bed satisfied, even as a busy mom of littles, now's the time to take the leap. During the entire month of October, I'm offering an exclusive deal, 10% off my course and three bonus trainings. Don't miss out, mamas. Head over right now to energyformoms.com to grab your exclusive offer today before it expires on November 1st. It's time, mama, to shed the stress, regain yourself, and have energy to spare for you, your husband, and a life beyond just your littles. Let's do this together, mama. Thanks for